Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video in my car, which I know is a little bit weird, um, but I couldn't do it at home, so I thought it was better than not doing one. Um, if you can hear like cars going past and rain and everything, then I apologize, because I'm absolutely pouring it down. But um, I got my horror block finally. So usually I get this on the 2nd, but it came on the 13th and it was really, really late. And I messaged them about it and they said that I couldn't say that it was lost until like Christmas Eve and stuff, which was a little bit annoying, but it has finally arrived. So that's really good. Um, and I like the box this month. It has like these horror themed stuff around it. So there's a gremlin and a Dracula and a Freddy and stuff like that and the um, address is underneath this time it did come like wrapped in a cling film stuff so, so it came a lot cleaner than it usually does usually it's pretty battered when it gets here so i like this new like box design and when you open it up inside there is another design so this is the more general kind of um items there's like a pokeball and a totoro and some minions and stuff so yeah the box is pretty cool um so the first thing in here is this t-shirt now i've got absolutely no idea how you pronounce this so I, I won't even try but it's this christmas themed one looks like this it's black and has this on it which i think is pretty cool i like that it's a christmas themed one because then i can actually wear it at christmas time i have not seen this film um but I know it's like one of those classics that everybody seems to have seen before so I'll have to watch that. The next thing in here is these which is uh, Freddy and Jason cookie cutters. So they look like this. Now these are pretty cool like they're very detailed if you look at the faces and stuff. My only issue with this is they're not ones that have like a plunger on the back so once you've cut your cookie it's all going to get stuck in all these little places and not come out unless your mixture's quite like tough i suppose then it might fall out but if it was um quite soft then it's going to get stuck in all those little holes and everything so maybe not the best design ever but um they are pretty cool so that is that the next thing in here is this so this is a krampus tree decoration and the box is pretty cool it says that it's a horror block exclusive and it looks like this so i watched krampus for the first time the other day i can't say it was the best film that i've ever seen but it was okay um so on here you can see it says krampus across the top and it has this little rusty looking chain part and then the like ribbon bit is like a velour kind of red material so this actually is very very noisy um but it's pretty cool i think when i get my own tree one day then i will definitely hang this on there the next thing is this so this is rabbit in red by joe chayanakas i don't know how you say that <laughs> but this is what it looks like Um, so it says, Bill Wise has blood in his past, so he turns to horror films to wipe it clean. Jamie Stein has felt the betrayal of death, so she too takes refuge in the on-screen deaths of others. Now Bill, Jamie and 17 other horror-loving teens have gathered at Rabbit in Red Studios, the brainchild of eccentric horror producer Jay Bell, for the terror-filled, blood-drenched contest of their lives. Um... So it says they've presented this competition as a race between the best of the best that will reward the winners with cash, internships and a career making in movies they love. But things aren't always as they seem at Rabbit in Red and soon life starts to imitate art. Will Bill and Jamie be strong enough to confront real horror to save their friends or will they fall victim to JB's twisted plans? So it sounds pretty cool. I'll probably give it a try. It's not necessarily something that I would usually read um but i don't know it looks kind of cool i guess and it is horror themed so that is that if you open up the um center it does actually say horror block exclusive edition so i'm not sure if this is actually like a printed book like out in the shops or if you could just get this in horror block but it looks okay so i will give that a try the next thing in here is this which i had really high hopes for but it's not my favorite um this is the gremlins holiday globe So that is what it looks like and um, if you look at the little pictures on here it looks like it's gonna be really evil looking which I thought was really cool but when you actually get it out it isn't it's kind of um, soft looking I guess you could say 
so it came packaged pretty well um, and this is what it looks like these up here so this is the front it says gremlins on there and these are the gremlins in the globe so they're not really what was shown on the box they're like very bright green kind of cutesy looking gremlins but it is still a really cool like Christmassy horror item I guess so that is that <clears throat> and then lastly in the box as always is your Remog magazine so that is this month's and I had a quick flick through it before and it seems to be a lot of um, horror film related like reviews and um, descriptions and stuff this month which is pretty cool because I like to find new films to watch so I might try and give that a bit of a read um, and then at the bottom of the box as always is the cards that you get so this is the one that tells you what came in this month's box it says um, Gremlin Snow Globe was an exclusive which is there And then on the other side, it's got all the other stuff. And then you get this card too, which says what's going to be in next month's. So it says next month's horror block will include a freakish item from American Horror Story, which I wish I really loved. I feel like when I see it advertised and stuff, I really want to get into it, but then I just can't for some reason. So I might try and give American Horror Story another try sometime, but I can't say I'm super excited about that. Um, and then on the other side, it says along with exclusives from Army of Darkness and Friday the 13th. So I've never seen Army of Darkness. Friday the 13th is a good one though. Um, and I'm pretty sure from the, um, was it the Freddy flask or something that was supposed to be coming in a previous box that got held up by customs? I think that was supposed to be in this next month's box as well, but I'm not too sure. So I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, that was this month's horror block. So yeah, I don't think this was the best box ever, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I have resubscribed for another three months because I wasn't going to because I don't have that much money at the minute. But I think it's definitely one of my favourite boxes to get. So I resubscribed and I will be getting next month's and I can do a video of that one as well. So I hope you liked this video and if you did then please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.